and, and for me, that was quite troubling that you had a big opportunity, everybody's complaining. The least that could have dropped off his lift was to have apologized on behalf of everybody, and the matter will be a thing of the past. Don't you think so, yeah. sir? No, yeah, I, would, I would encourage, if I, if I were standing in for the minister, I will. I will appreciate the difficulty and indicate uh, uh, my apology or our collective apology. But what I would do more than apology is to reassure. And I think he did that one very clearly, to say that the going forward they will ensure this doesn't happen. I think that is equally important. It's perhaps more important. Apology is necessary, but going forward, what will you do to ensure this does not occur? The minister was very clear and emphatic on ensuring that people take away the comfort that they, uh, they, they, the local organizing committee will ensure it doesn't recur. The apology is necessary, but Johnny, you will agree with me that the apology will have no value if it is only uh, for another time to offer it again. And what is key in this moment um, is to assure people that yes, we take note of the problem and we will fix it because the constitution of the uh, press conference to address the issue in of itself is a recognition that something has gone wrong and inherently an apology. But what we want to hear after an apology is a plan, is an assurance that the problem will be solved. And I think that he's offered that and we can go with that. Well, he didn't apologize, but he reassured. And I'm wondering I'm on what, ba on what basis the reassurance was given. Mm. Uh, Johnny, you can have a thousand apologies. I, I hear you, okay. but I'm saying that uh -huh. on what basis so, have, was the reassurance given? Mm. I have admitted to say that if I were in his stead, um, I would have. But I'm also trying to uh, uh, rationalize for you that mm -hmm. the, the knowledge or the presence of mind to say Something has happened. Let's bring a press conference to update people, to assure people. It's a recognition of guilt or failure, in which case you are providing the assurance that the problem will be solved. So the act itself is a recognition, which is an apology inherently, uh, but then to let people move forward in confidence to say that this will be a thing of the past. Richard, so for example, a basic thing for... An international tournament or games like uh, a standby generator mm. is not available in all of the conversation that we have. I mean, University of Ghana, for example, has standby generators for some of the faculties and, and all of that. We, we know that we're converting four of the hostels into this village. We're installing air conditioners and water heaters, changing mattress and all of that. A standby generator was not part of the equation. Well, uh, Johnny, we can dwell on this matter all day, but I think that one, there's a recognition that um, something was amiss and that they've taken notes of it and they're going to work on it. And two, in the press conference, I think that I, I heard the minister mention about, I think it was specifically, I think, Cape Coast, if, I, if my memory Yes, Cape Coast right, Stadium, yes. That, mm. yes they the have, lights went uh, off some, twice. Right, that mm. they have a generator set, but then the staff, on the ground, the facility manager had uh, resources to fill the, play, uh, the generators and have them ready for kick on. But then somehow the, the, the local team or the facility management team dropped the ball on that. And by the time they got the gen set up, the light had come. So these are operational, uh, you know, decision, low level decision, uh, first line decision level uh, mishaps. And so the, the, the coming to the fore of these issues will lead to fixing them, that we then will be able to charge people and hold them accountable more and try to ensure that going forward they will iron out all these difficulties. Mm. But I'm, I want us to make the point that this by no means defines the very bold uh, decision and investment to make sure Ghana holds uh, the 2023 African Games. Does this not come back to the initial days when some group of Ghanaians said, fix the country, fix the country, and then we came back with a retort, fix yourselves. Now, it appears that this embarrassment is not only national, it has gone continental and global. Is it time to fix Ghana? Uh, who came back to say fix yourself? 
Oh, oh, uh, Bempa, oh, your deputy oh. director of communications, uh, Hope Sinadoy, they held numerous press well, conferences whenever here. Time, whatever time those comments were made, Owusu Bempa was not the director, deputy director of the new patriotic party. So let's let's have no, that. No, I'm, I'm just saying that he is yeah, well, always but, but an when important. You bring it in, mm. well, I just wanted to be clear on the matter. Mm. Okay. As a party, as a government, we didn't canvas that position to tell anybody. Mm to fix themselves. We didn't say that. So that must be your record. No, I'm not. Now, I'm, I'm saying that there are elements within your party, elements well, who have held positions in well, your party, I mean, who, who came up to say, fix yourself. They, they, they're, they're known. The press conferences are... If you Google fix Johnny, yourself now, you'll find uh, them. Johnny, let, let, let's not delve into the minors. I'm saying that a political party such as a new patriotic party Form the government led by His Excellency Nakado Danko Kufwade, Dr. Baumia. If you want to attribute something to us, it should be formal and mainstream. Okay, so you cannot, you know, import what individuals have done in their capacity as citizens and superimpose that on a party and a government. I want us to be clear on that so we don't confuse listeners. Mm. Now, the issue about fixing the country is a process. When was Ghana born? Right? And how old is Ghana? Okay? So the past eight years is where we're saying that Ghana ought to be fixed ultimately. We need to get that conversation in context. No, because you... Pro what, you because hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Richard, Richard, for, forgive me. Richard, Richard, for Richard, Richard, answer. Richard I, I beg you. I have See, not answered your question. I'm setting a premise to answer and, my and question. And I want, I, want I want to supply information. You, prior to 2016... Before you got into power, Nana Dudankwe Kufado says, give me 18 months and I will transform the country. I don't know, my math is not good, but how many months has it been since then? Johnny, to transform the country is to say what? Is to say an absolute fixing of the country. Is that your interpretation? What did he mean when he said that? No, but you are the one saying it. Because is that your understanding? If that's your understanding, I can answer your question based on that. Is that your understanding? He said, that he, he when, mentioned... When you say for, you will transform the country, mm. it means that you will absorb all the problems of the people of Ghana? Is that the meaning So I'll, I'll give you one example. He says that in two years, which is yeah. 24 months, no household in the country will have a toilet or water problem today. Okay. The narrative has not changed. So he, he contextualized the give you know, me 18 you know, months Johnny, to fix it. Johnny, 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 please, please. Let's not do this to ourselves. Okay? What, what are Let's we doing do to this. ourselves, my brother? What the, the kind of impression you are seeking to create is not realistic. In your own life, I, I am not creating oh, the impression. No, I'm just no, rehashing no, no, what the president no, said in opposition. No. Uh, look, listen, Johnny. Are you a Christian? Oh, of right? course I am. How many times? Mm. How many times... Have we not said it is well with my soul? Yeah. And after you leave the church, you know it's not well with your soul. It is not me. It is what Nanado no, Kuvado said and was voted dealing, for no, by the Ghanaian Johnny, people Johnny, based Johnny, on that. Johnny, this is not an idea. Oh, I'm, I'm calm. I'm, I'm always calm. You know that. You, yeah, I, that's mm, okay. Mm. So I'm saying that you, you are Christian. You've been in church. And you think it is well with my soul. But once you live there, you know it's not well with your soul. Well, I don't take people's so taxes to tell them the that give me the reins of power. I don't do that. You, you don't want me to it, answer your question. No, Johnny. no, 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 no Richard, Richard, it's unfair. It's unfair. To it's a certain perspective on people, and I'm trying to help you yourself. R Richard, let us understand that what is said mm. is not an absolute situation. Richard, it is. It is unfair. Is Richard, seven it, years old. No, no, Johnny, just hold R Richard, on. Richard, sorry, just sorry, sorry, sorry. You just drew me into the conversation. Decision, so I need to. No, it is unfair. No, no, it is unfair. Yes, yes, it is unfair. No, 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 no. Wait, please. We answer the question. It is. And your it is unfair. How you are inserting yourself in the conversation, no. seeking to promote no. a certain viewpoint. You, you, and for me, that is not how you moderate the conversation. Richard, you, you, you the are the one pushing me. Richard, Richard, Richard. So just ask the question. Let me answer Richard. Your, your viewers are discerning enough to understand what we're saying. But don't try to promote a certain view. Richard. And seek to force the question in that direction. Richard, That's you you yeah. you are the one forcing me into the conversation by saying that I have gone to church many times and sang it is well with my soul when I know it's not well. I don't take yeah. the people's taxes. 
I didn't no. run for office. I have not been sworn into power. I don't okay. have I don't have the opportunity that the president have. I don't contract okay. loans on behalf of the people. I don't have no the authority that the president has. Right. Now this right. man stood on a campaign platform, and proud to that. I'm, I'm, coming. This man. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Our president of the republic. Our president. Man. Our president. Yeah. He stood yeah. on a platform, right. and in hope. In the fifth attempt to become president, he was yeah. hoping that he would get the nod this time around. And he no said, problem. and he said, give me 18 months. I yeah. will transform the country. That's one. And okay. he contextualized it further to say, in two years, no household in Ghana will have a toilet or water problem. How is that a narrative that I'm forcing on the people? By repeating yeah. what he said, I'm forcing Johnny, it on the people now. Johnny, Johnny, thank you very much. So I hope you allow me to answer your Go question. Go ahead, please. And, and when I raise a rhetorical question, it is for clarity. You don't, you don't necessarily have to come in. So just here, just as I've heard you. Go ahead, please. One, I, am, I ask the question. To transform the country in 18 months, your understanding of that is to say that the totality of the problems of Ghana will be solved in 18 months. Was that your understanding? I don't think so. Right? Now, would you say that in the 18 months of Nanado Danko Kufuado, government and Dr. Baumier's government. There were no transformations in this country. Is that your contention? I don't think so. So you understand. And the way I brought you into the conversation is that even us as individuals with our utmost parochial commitment to ourselves to do well, we are not able to go beyond ourselves to solve all our problems in 18 months. Because in the space in the fiscal space of the world we live in, it takes time to do certain things. And your best intentions are subject to reactions in the environment. So if President Akufado and Dr. Baumia leading a government saying that in 18 months it is our vision to achieve so and so transformation in the country, it is subject to the response of the people to the policies they will put in place. So if you take the initiative to say that Accra will be the cleanest city in Africa. I've heard people say that, oh, he said it and it has not happened. You think that that policy is preempting or suggesting that President Pufado would mobilize some new people from out of space to clean our system for us? It is us who must take responsibility. Certain things must be done with us. But then the policy vision has been cast. The response of citizens to that Okay, the incentives that have been provided, the responses of citizens to that will ultimately yield the outcome. Well, was there, was there, time, was there, for example, time, was there, for just, example... Just, just bear with me one second. Just bear with me one second. You love your child to death. You take bullets for your child. But there are things that your child will do in spite of your best provisions for them. So, you as a father, you set the environment for your child to be successful. And and, and, and and that's what I'm asking you. Was there was there was there a must cross the finish line? You cannot cross the finish line. So 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 yes, there has been transformation in uh, President Kufuado's uh, uh, administration, first and second term, mm. and we can point to those things. But then the, to create the impression that there, must, there was a total transformation imminent. Mm. We must be, be careful to make those subject to the responses in the environment and the conditions that we let, let, let me that for me is a conversation we must have honestly and ensure that where there are successes we'll talk about them where there are pitfalls we'll talk about them but let's not create the impression mm. because he said it it must happen as so, though that he will just call them into existence mm. minus the response in the environment i, I welcome roxy nelson onto the phone line now he's uh, the mp for south Dai. council good morning welcome Good morning to you, Johnny. Good morning to our listeners, and uh, good morning to my brother, Richard. Great. I I'll come to you in a bit. Uh, so, um, I have a... Now, for example, in the clean city agenda or the vision, as you put it, which was announced at Manche Agbona, the late dentist Kofi, the English alata Manche, gave that title, Ni Kwaku Okujiaman the first to the president and he made that pledge on that occasion he said in four years he put a timeline to it have you as richard Ayakba, even seen the vision and the plan 
to achieve that because you are now putting the thing on the citizens to say the citizens should come out and all of that that's fair enough did you see the leadership and vision did you have the blueprint the plan towards making Accra a cleaner city did you see it have you seen it Johnny, you don't necessarily have to see a vision, a vision written on uh, in black and white, but a vision crisp as it was that the president put forward. It's one that we all must buy into. It's a vision in, in our hearts. The, the, the idea is a president that wants to give it impetus, right? And you saw a lot of effort. I, I know uh, some investment that has been done. If, if you see... Um, uh, the Zoom Lion, some incentives that were given for them to create and build, um, you know, a waste processing facility in Accra, in Kumasi. Um, the last time, I think, uh, there's another company I went to OT, Zambai area, there were there's some uh, waste processing facilities that were building to process waste and ensure waste disposal becomes smarter, to give impetus to that vision. We saw the regional minister, uh, now uh, interior minister, uh, Mr. Henry Corte, uh, engage aggressively from 2021, seeking for individuals to take responsibility on clean your frontage, engaging directly to dealing with this matter. What has happened? Okay, so the, the effort is still ongoing. We have not arrived at a destination. The point I was making to you earlier is that the, the reaction in the environment will either accelerate the vision or, you know, uh, impede the vision. But what is important... How, how is are the people the supposed to follow? How are the people the supposed to follow what, what they have not seen? How are the people police? supposed to follow what they have not seen? Be, be yeah. real. You, you, lead, you lead the communication of your party. If there's right. no blueprint... How do your communicators, for example, go on media to, to communicate? You have a plan. If there's Johnny, no plan, Johnny, how do the people... Where, where's the plan? Johnny, there are ordinances in all the assembly, metropolis, and uh, municipal. There are ordinances. You mean uh, bylaws? The, mm. the bylaws. Right. Mm. They must enforce those. The regional minister here in Accra gave impetus to that. I recall very vividly being on a program with uh, uh, your senior, uh, Dr. Randy Abbey, mm. where he was cheering the minister on and saying that they, he, he must task all the district assemblies, uh, municipal district uh, chief executives, must take this fight on because there's a process in motion. People must take ownership. That's what I'm talking about, the reaction in the environment. When you conceive that you want to give your child a best possible life, it is dependent on their reaction to your vision that will determine if your good intention for your children will be realized or not. I hear you. So the, the mm. government and the president's leadership directed to the minister for the, uh, the region has put in motion uh, a process to achieve that end. The resistance, of course, you can't take pain. You can't, there's just there's so much you can do, but that you cannot today say that the government has not put in motion the process to achieve that end. It is still in motion. The resistance is there, but the fight continues. And I think that in the in nearest possible time, we will achieve the clean gun, uh, the clean uh, cleaners Accra, because it's important. Bef bef before, before President Akufuado before President Akufuado exists, pa exists power? The thing about a good vision is that it never dies. I hear you. Let me bring yeah, in council. Let, let me let me bring in council. It's relevant. Mm. It's specific. Akufuado has given impetus to it, and will be real. Council. So the All Africa Games has been on, and I'm sure you've heard some of the athletes complain about the challenges that they have gone through, and the minister has been also explaining, even though he hasn't taken full responsibility. I have agreed with me that the minister should have apologized before reassuring us. What do you say from where you sit as a sports enthusiast? Thank you very much. Um, first of all, let me make the point that every support has been given to the government and by extension, the minister to successfully hold this game. You, you will know that the game had already been postponed from 2023 to 2024. That's right. Mm. 
because of logistical difficulties, because we couldn't meet the timeline regarding getting the, the game village ready. The, the continental managers agree with us and postpone it to this year. Now we are here. Once we have difficulties in some of the basic logistical arrangements in the game village, why didn't we, for instance, anticipate that building a games village such as the one we built in Botiano should not come with a standby plan? I mean, how, how, how is that possible? How, how couldn't our engineers conceive of that? So that when the main electricity supply goes, so we can put on a plan. If all this goes into planning, our national athletes are complaining one even about most of transportation and how early they got their their equipment to train with so we do have a problem but as, as a host country as a host nation we are all praying that all hands will be brought on deck to assist the minister host this game successfully the games will end on the 25th of march right so we have about two weeks more to go but Tony, this is games that we've spent nearly $200 million to ensure that we host it successfully. We shouldn't be having any transportation difficulties or lodging difficulties. All right? So right. with me, I'm a nationalist. I'm a patriot. Mm. I, I want to, I want to, I, I want our, our name to go global that notwithstanding the TT problems at the beginning, we need to host the games successfully. That's what I'm interested in. So me, I won't play politics with what's happening. Mm. The people should be able to account for resources that have been placed in their hands in trust for the people. I but see. it appears that when these mm. things happen, mm -hmm. there are no consequences. So people misapply funds, misapply public resources without consequences. So it, we are falling into a state of Laissez-faire, everybody is approaching it in the way that he or she desires. Meanwhile, there are standards to be met. <clears throat> Parliament, Parliament was called into, into action. One day, we were asked to pass Ghana anti doping agency bill into law. We did that. Because we knew that if we didn't have that in place, we couldn't have, we couldn't have commenced the games on the day that it was open. Why did we sit down until until last week in order to pass the Ghana anti doping agency law bill into law? For instance, <laughs> well, we knew that we bidded for this gate nearly ten years ago. We knew that 2023, 2024 will be the host. These are some of the things that trouble me. So we can do politics, all right, but these are national matters that we shouldn't toy with. Because tomorrow, if we want to host another continental or global game, mm -hmm. this, this are, these, are the, these are the qualities you'll be standing on that you successfully hosted the African game, for instance. I see. Richard, I, I bring you in. We'll move on to the next subject. When will the president sign the uh, LGBTQ bill? Uh, Johnny, well, let me quickly thank my brother. Mm -hmm. I think that... Uh, he, he needn't say that uh, he's a, a patriot mm -hmm. or nationalist, but mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, he spoke well. I think I appreciate that position. Uh, and in this conversation thus far, uh, I would say the two of us being politicians, mm -hmm. we've spoken nationally. It's you, Johnny, who is trying to insert politics. In no, 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 so no, that's, I want to that, that's, that's not fair. That's not fair to say. <laughs> I'm saying that if you make a promise and you fail to deliver Johnny, on that Johnny, promise, the work, the, no, 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 the work Johnny. of the work of the journalist <laughs> is to ask you when you are going to fulfill the promise. It's simple. Well, if that's, well, if when that, we ask the question such that you, you invite politics into it, we have No, to it's not it. politics. You, you say, point, give me 18 months, uh, I will transform <laughs> the country. In two years, no household will have water toilet anyway, problem. You, you, if you if I you ask you that, how am I being a politician? It wrong sometimes, it's okay. Yes. It, it will make you human. It no, no, no. It, 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 it is not wrong. President Akufuado made a promise. He has failed to deliver that 
And he has any policies into it. You have inserted a little bit into it. No, you appreciate it. The, but the, we the politicians, are the president, and I think the people, okay. the people so remember the promise question, that he made that in two years, is, no household Johnny, will have a toilet Johnny, problem, and Johnny, we still have that problem. Johnny, Admit Johnny, it. It's okay. It's okay. And stop forcing, forcing, forced narrative onto people, please. I beg you. You are my friend. But don't 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 force force narrative onto me. I won't take it. As for that, I will defend it to the last blood. No, no problem. No problem. Drop a drop of blood. No, I didn't. I didn't manufacture. I will transform Ghana in eighteen months. President Akufuado. Then, as opposition leader, said that. I'm relaxed. But don't say I am forcing it. You, he said it. The man you work for. I am saying that. My, my brother, uh, actually has spoken very well. And uh, that is how we should speak going forward. To say that as a people, we might solve problems. And if you hadn't spoken like that, there were a lot that I could say. But I think that we are in the process of growth and the arrangements and preparation so far, whilst there is a lot that needs to be done. And I believe that in the coming days, before the close of the tournament, um, much of these efforts will come together for us to deliver successful uh, games uh, for the continent. Uh, we need to uh, bind together. We need to speak nationally. We need to understand that there's a lot that goes into this, and it's not mm. simple as uh, imagined. And so, therefore, uh, it's going to be a cakewalk. Okay, R Richard. A lot of work has been done. We appreciate that. Richard, hold on. Hold, hold on a bit for me. Hold on a bit for me. Listen to this. I'm promising you. Within 18 months of a new government of the NPP under my leadership, the face of our country, Ghana, is going to change. <laughs> so that's the president i am not the one who authored it he said it himself he published it himself now let's go on to my question when is the president signing the lgbtqi bill i tell you that you always want to have the last word the fact that you don't collect the people's tax and you speak as an individual doesn't mean you don't have responsibility for the things you speak i pay taxes so let's let's get that so i'm saying that and I've answered that question, except if you want me to go back based on what The president saying. said that. that. Let, let's not, let's not mess up the program. What the president no, said. The no, what the president, why are you forcing what the president said on me? Why are you doing that? No, no, I'm saying you Why are you doing that? Why are you forcing what the president said on me? The man said, I will transform the country in 18 months. He has failed to do that. And you, you say we shouldn't say it. You take responsibility where you have dropped the ball. I, I haven't the dropped ball. the ball. I said he failed. To take politics into the African game. And uh, my brother, uh, Roxon, came and told you that this is not a political matter. No, I didn't. So between other politicians, uh, Rich, they are speaking about the nation. And you, the general, Richard, are the one driving politics. Richard. That you should just i take that as an input and move on. Richard. Now we're questioning about LGBT. Richard, Richard, no, 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 Richard, Richard, you won't come and do, you won't come and, Richard, you won't come and do that on my show. Richard, 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 you won't come and do that on my show. Let's have mutual respect. I didn't inject politics into it yesterday. Well, uh, uh, Janet, Janet, find me uh, Winifred in Tumi's audio. I spoke with her, the lady who won the gold and silver. She was on this platform, said that she wears size 38. She was giving size 40. If I rehash that, how is that political? If, if Winifred in Tumi comes on my network and says, for example, that she only got the boots the day before the event and that the usual practice is that they have to get it a week before, how is that political? Why are you people so hypocritic when it comes to pointing out the faults of the things that you have to fix and you fail to take responsibility and all you do is name calling? Why do people do that? Why do you people do that? Why do you people do that? And Johnny, you, know my you, you take no, don't don't do that because now what you are doing is you are impugning my integrity and you are consistent. You are subtly you doing it. Don't do that, Janet. You play the video for me. Johnny, play the video. I've heard your colleagues, some of the athletes, talk about the fact that they didn't get their equipment, they they are they are jerseys and uh, um, you know attires are old and all of that. What do you say to those things? Yeah, it's true. To be honest, it's true. Uh, me myself, I even experienced it because I had to use my old uh, Rana, my old boots to compete. And even when they brought the things, like they give it to you 
a day before your competition. Yeah. It is very bad. A, a day before the competition was when you got your things. Yes, especially with the boots, for instance. They took our sizes, but when I had my weightlifting boots, they gave me size 40. Mm. And, and your size what, what your what your size originally is what? 38. So you were size 38, but you were giving size 40. Exactly. Hmm. And 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 but but the team is supposed to know what size you wear. So how they, they took everything and the thing and you see the thing is if they should have brought it earlier on, we would have been able to do something about it. But they didn't bring it early and with weight is there for instance, you can't just take a boot today and say you are using it to compete. You have to use it minimum of one week to get familiar uh, to right. be able to like get used to Right, it. right. So if you give it to me today, don't expect me to use it. I won't use it. I'm proud of Even you. Even with the child and stars, mm -hmm. they are big. They are way bigger. Uh, so, Richard Aikagba, this is the gold medalist. The yes, first to ever have won it. How, no, no how is rehashing and playing Johnny. back what she said is, is political? How is that? Explain to no me. No problem. Yes, Johnny, you see, that incident that the young lady, congratulations to her, explained to you, it's not a government policy matter. It's a team issue. Right? But to try to amplify that, and, and, and you know, Johnny, you are a seasoned journalist. You know what we call agenda setting. Create this impression in the public like something is breaking, ultimately something is bad. That was what you were doing there. You're trying to amplify that. But that is just an organizational issue at the organizing team level. Resource movement issue. For, people coordination issue. For all the, ad, for all the athletes. Is not, that is not a matter that should define the games, Johnny. For you all for all the athletes. So you are using your podium in, or your platform to politicize an issue that ought not Jesus to be Christ. That's what I am telling you, Johnny. You need to take responsibility as much as you want people you come on your show every day to impugn their integrity to take responsibility. Richard I'm simply just telling you that. Richard, we can move on to talk about Richard, the issue. if you put athletes, Richard, you get it wrong because John, you Richard, are not infallible. Richard, you if you put athletes, you amplify something you ought not to amplify. Richard, you politicize a common issue. You don't need to amplify that matter, but you did it so you can besmirch the character of the government Richard. to create an impression that oh, this whole game is a sham. It's not working. It is breaking down, but it is not. Richard. That's Close, Richard, you, close your eyes. Yes, Think yes, about yes, the yes, millions. Citizen, just like uh, uh, Honorable Robson, the former court, mm. said, we must be nationalistic. And so that matter is not a, 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 a show that breaks the camel's back. Richard, there close, are bigger issues Richard, that close your eyes. That need to be managed and they are being managed. But when you amplify that, Johnny, you are setting an agenda. Richard. And that, it's not necessary. You Richard, need to do that. Close your eyes and imagine yourself as an athlete and know that your country has spent millions of dollars to procure vehicles to transport you to the event center and you are put in the bucket of a pickup. Explain how you will feel as an athlete and tell me if it's that political. Again, again, Johnny, just like my brother Robson has said, resources have been given to people. If you also close your eyes, you can actually see those uh, trucks, uh, those uh, VAs and whatnot that have been branded, that have been branded for the games. And they have been driven around with people not inside. So it is an organizational issue. It's not a lack of resource issue. It is people who have been put in place are not coordinating properly. So you can speak to that. And say so we see all these trucks in town. So please make sure you make it available to the guests. All the buses that are okay. branded, they are there. Richard. So if you see the issue and you step aside and you're politicizing a journey, we should be able to tell you that do the right thing. Richard. Because you are the fourth estate of the realm. Richard. You are not infallible. The NPPs. Your words carry weight. Richard. So when you choose to politicize something that ought not to be politicized, we should be able to tell you fair and square, Johnny. Don't ask Richard. Us about the, approach. the people who politicized, the people who politicized the All Africa Games, 
is your party because in your 2020 manifesto, and I read to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, please, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Because you keep digging deeper and deeper. Let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a final question. In your 2020 manifesto, this is captured. It says, "We will host and organize the 13th Africa Games in 2023." Mm -hmm. This will afford Ghana the opportunity to construct a national Olympic stadium complex to bridge the nation's sports infrastructure deficit. The Games will also provide the opportunity to address capacity and facility deficiencies for the organization of all sports and, more importantly, rebrand the popular inter-schools and colleges sports towards mainstreaming their products into national uh, teams for all mm -hmm. international games. This right. is captured in the 2020 manifesto upon which the people of Ghana considered and voted for you. So this okay. was situated in a political space. If right. I am asking a question as to why this has not been done as was explained in the manifesto, you say that is political and the journalist cannot ask? Is that what you're mm -hmm. saying? Journey, I said you keep digging yourself deeper and deeper. This, you, what you have just read, has been done. The infrastructure being put in place has been done. One of the best aquatic centers in our, the first of its kind in our country has been built. The infrastructure in the University of Ghana has not had the complex that it has now for many years of its existence. We, that has been done. You see it. You go there. You have seen it. In, uh, during. So what you have just read in the manifesto has been done. But what the problem is that we are talking about is your disproportionate reporting of the matter when and an ambulance arrives no, and doesn't no, have fuel well, it is disproportionate johnny, johnny, i hear back johnny 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 please please okay the, it is respectful it's your platform but it must be respectful that i come on it so don't make it as if you are doing me a favor okay, <laughs> Rich, so please, Rich, nobody said that you, nobody said that course, you said that, that you can't come on my platform and do abc yes you can't come on my platform and impugn my integrity platform, i won't agree it's a platform necessarily because we all participate on it. Richard, I so hear that. So, about that. so let me listen so the to point you. I'm making mm. to you is that, Johnny, please mm. listen. Mm -hmm. The point I'm making to you is that the thing about shoe size that you are talking about is not a macro issue that defines what we said we were going to do in our manifesto. What we said we were going to do principally has been done. But the human factor in delivering that. If that results in giving, instead of 38 size, 38, somebody is giving 40. It's a question of getting the right size, period. I see. That should not become the agenda. That should not become the subject headline matter. Mm. That you, Johnny, sitting on a platform the size that you have. Mm -hmm. To trap it, instead of saying that for 75 years or more, the University of Ghana has now gotten a sport complex that is befitting of its status. That is an achievement. So I'm saying that mm. you are part of the establishment, the fourth estate of the realm. Mm. Your proportional reporting of the news is part of our delivery. So take note and report the news proportionally. So I okay. should ignore the fact that an ambulance came when international cyclists yeah, yeah, were waiting. Yeah, yeah. I, I should ignore it. No, I'm, I'm asking because I mean, I just, yeah, because those are the things that those are the things that the athletes have been through. To justify yourself, and what it shows is that. You every morning you come on your journey's bike and you impugn people. Ah, I see where this is going. You don't like to take responsibility. I see. Get I see where this is and going. I'm saying that you who want to throw a stone or you who are calling for equity, mm. you are you are not willing to come with clean hands. Mm. If you have dropped the ball, then I, you have dropped the ball. That's I, simple. I see where this is going. I, so I, so all along it was journey's bike that was the target, not the question I asked you. you Thank you for the clarity. You refuse to accept it. Thank you for the clarity that all this while it was Johnny's bad that was the target, not the question I asked you. Thank you for the clarity. Now answer my question. When, when is the president signing the LGBTQ bill? You accept when you are at fault to accept responsibility. It's as simple as that. When, you are not above reproach. When is the president signing the LGBT law? Johnny, thank you very much. The, the LGBTQ plus bill, anti-LGBT law, as a bill, has not gotten to the president. And if it gets to him, uh, from what we know, the process, I think Article 106 would activate, uh, but as we speak, it hasn't gotten to him, subject to some issues uh, in the Supreme Court uh, pending determination on the matter. I see. Uh, but mm -hmm. if it gets to the president, he will sign it. But before that, before that, I need to mention 
that His Excellency Nana Dodakwa Kufuado is not in principle against the collective desire of Ghanaians not to see the growth and promotion of LGBT or same sex and related activities in that. It is in principle against it. He is in principle against it. He is not stand anywhere to canvas for it. He is not stand anywhere to promote it. And so therefore, if it is an appropriate law, a law that is not challenged or deemed to be against or affecting anybody's rights under our constitution comes to him, he will sign it. Number two, the party, the new patriotic party that is Excellency Amado Danko Kufado is a member of, on whose ticket he is the president of this republic, is inherently opposed to same-sex activities in this country. It's a matter of principle, it's a matter of values that we are against that. We are promoters of traditional conservative values of Ghanaians. So cultural values are better kept by the new patriotic party. That's what we stand for. That's who we are. That's right. our policy mm. stance. Mm. And ultimately, in Parliament, my brother, uh, uh, Honorable Robson, will tell you mm. that his colleagues on the MPP side voted in unison to pass that bill which is in motion when all the matters related to it are addressed, gets to the president who will be signing to law. So that's the position. The law, the bill is not yet with the president, and when all the matters attending to it mm -hmm. are addressed, the president will sign it because it's consistent with his values and his party's values. I hear you.